So it's been a long time coming, but new build is finally here, and I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a rundown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am one very excited man. The new build has finally arrived. There has been so much time and thought put into this build to try and make it the ideal setup for my upcoming travels. Jake from Intimidator Boats has absolutely smashed out the park with every component of this build. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this rundown. So a lot of people are probably wondering why I switched the boat out for this jet ski setup, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. So there's a couple of reasons that I opted for the off-road trailer setup and a ski opposed to the boat. And Number one being just the sheer size of this thing compared to the boat. This thing here takes so much less fuel from the Prado. Obviously with this ski and off-road trailer setup being that little bit smaller, I can gain so much more access to different tracks and even beaches like the one we're on right now. So prior to building this thing, a lot of people were saying to stick away from the fiberglass jet ski. Obviously towing off-road, fiberglass, stone chips, they don't really mix too well. But I have gone the ski and I've gone against everyone. Now, the reason I have is because the ski is so much better and smaller for me to tow off road like I was saying before. And it also is so much lighter than any small tinny would be. Another reason as well is I can take this thing so much further offshore. With 150 kilometer fuel range, I can take this thing out to islands and if it does blow up, I've still got the confidence that I'll be able to get home safely. So in saying that, obviously it is a fiberglass ski, so you do got to take care of it. You don't want to get stone chips and you want to have as much hull support as possible. Rollers under this thing just seriously isn't going to cut it when you're going over corrugation and things like that. So starting up front, thanks to the guys at Jack's Tires, we've got three mud terrain black bear 31 inch tires on this thing. This is obviously the spare up front. It's situated here just to lower the ball weight a little bit and makes the trailer just drive that much nicer behind the car. Why did I go mud terrain? Well, one, they're stronger, but two, most importantly, they look bloody sick. So Jakey from Intimidator Boats has thought of absolutely everything when building this trailer. We obviously really wanted to protect the ski. That was the main goal. Now up the front here, we've got this massive semicircle piece that actually captures the front of the ski. Usually what you'd have is a little post like this or a little catch where the ski sits on wind the winch up and that's just a really small pressure point for the ski to be resting on when you're towing it off road. So down here you obviously want the ski secured as much as possible so we've got one of these little uh, clamp thingies and instead of the ski winch being up here it's down here so it just pulls that hull directly down into the trailer. So if you're wondering what they are they're actually stone deflectors so it stops all of the stones and gravel that gets thrown up stops it from hitting the hull of the ski and just protects it that little bit. It features lights all the way around the side of this thing so you can see it at night at the moment, we're just running these ratchet straps, but I do have boat buckles to come, which I had on my previous boat. Now, why did I go leaf springs instead of independent coil suspension? There's one major reason, the cost, and also the time it takes to build this independent coil suspension. I've got a trip coming up, and I don't have much time to get prepared and wait for these coils to be made. And secondly, the price of them is just greatly different. You can get these for a couple hundred bucks, independent coil suspension will set you back about four-ish grand to get a decent setup. And well, with lower PSI on the tires and um, with me driving carefully, this is gonna do just as good a job as anything else. So this trailer is completely drive on. We're running the skids underneath. And the reason for that is it's just so much better support for the hull. All of the weight actually rests on the keel of the hull of the jet ski, which is the strongest point. Down each side, we've got these beams here that run the whole length of the hull, and they're actually there pressed right up against it for support. But majority of the weight is actually on the keel. That makes it so much better for towing off road over bumps and things like that. Rather than having the rollers with their small surface area digging into the hull over long periods of time, that just wears down, that's not good. So this right here is the newest model, Sea Doo Fish Pro. It's a 170 horsepower engine. And um, in my opinion, they're a very reliable ski. I know a lot of people that have got them all over Australia. They're tough and um, they don't have that turbo or supercharger in them, which means that engine is so much more reliable and so much more fuel efficient. I can get about 150 kilometer range in this thing without having to worry about filling up. So obviously I love my fishing, which is why I went the Fish Pro as well. It comes stock standard with this Garmin Echo Map sounder, which is pretty good for what I do. It's got cup holders, um, both sides, it's got fishing rod holders, and at the back, which actually isn't on there at the moment, is an SE that comes stock standard with these things as well. It features plenty of storage, so you've got this little one in here which you can chuck your phone, completely waterproof, and this is the best part. Cedo Fish Pro opens from this side, which most skis do not. Put my camera gear and, um, yeah, keeps it nice and dry. Obviously, coming from the boat, the tunes were cranking every second that I got, which is why. This thing here has two speakers either side, which absolutely crank. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. This is the rig, the new rig that I can't wait to take up north on my next trips. 
It's going to be sick. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see the upcoming adventures. And if you haven't yet, go follow me on Instagram, jamie.vogler. Feel free to DM me at any time with any questions that you got. That's about it for another episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Yo.